Hi guys. So today I am doing a very exciting video. I say that every time. Today I'm doing, I'm always doing an exciting video when it's about a handbag. But uh, I just got it in the mail about an hour ago and it is from MCM and it is the MCM small medium stud, oh, Gunta, G-U-N-T-A small stud backpack in the cognac color. Here it is. Ah, guys, just look at the, look at it. Just look at it. Look at this. Oh boy, yes. So, I bought this from the MCM outlet at the back to school sale. This is, retails for $1,000. $1,195 and I got this for $516 <laughs> right that's amazing and it's got all the stud detail on it it's got the nameplate and it's the cognac color and they have this this um, they have this in the medium size they have this in the black color and the cognac color and the black color has, I think, silver studs, and this has the gold studs. But I love the gold and I love the cognac, so I went for this one. And it's the small medium size, which, oh my gosh, I've had this. I've had the MCM backpack three times. I've had the medium size, I've had the mini boo-boo size, and now I went for the small medium, and this is like the Goldilocks size for me. It's beautiful. The medium size is too heavy and too big for an everyday bag and the mini size was just way too small. Super cute though, but way too small. And this one looks perfection on me. I am five foot 10 and curvy as you would say, and this bag looks perfect. Um, you could totally, for me, I could totally use this as an everyday bag, as a purse, it's not too big. Um, it fits, you know, a lot, but I, for me, it looks cute as a purse. For someone that's a, maybe a small, very petite girl, this would look, this might look too big for you, so maybe the small size would be best. But for me, this bag is just doing it. Oh my goodness, look at the, look at the studs. So the reason this one is so expensive is because all the stud work. They're each individually placed on there. Like, look at the stud work on this, guys. Okay, sorry if you hear that, my daughter's playing on our tablet really loud so <laughs> um, yeah look at this oh my gosh so I uh, had the MCM backpack in the beige and that was like my dream backpack but as soon as I got it something happened I think my husband got into a car accident um, he was fine it wasn't a, it wasn't a bad one but he um, we had to pay the deductible which was a lot so I had to sell the backpack and so I always wanted to get another one and then I got the mini one and that one was just like too small and then when I had the chance to get this for I've been eyeing this one when I had the chance to get it for that price I was like I better I better get it so the only issue I had this came from the MCM from um, California and the studs I think this had been sitting a while because I mean it's a $1,200 backpack not everyone's gonna go buy this backpack so I think it had been sitting somewhere in storage for a long time because the studs had tarnished and so I was worried I was like oh my gosh all these studs are tarnished but since this is high quality it's like jewelry quality studs on here this is brass this is brass and I have proof now because I took my uh, tarnished cloth I have a cloth from Tiffany's and I just literally buffed the studs and look at the glisten now Bam. I mean, I could do it more later, but I just kind of wanted to polish them up. But yeah, the tarnish comes off and, um, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna send the bag back for that because I was able to fix the problem. But <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, I love it. I love it. And the size is so good. I wonder if I can do a mod shot, um, for the size. I guess I'll do a mod shot before I show you what's in here. Let's see if I can. So... I'm five foot ten, and can you see? I don't know if you can see. Let me. All right. So this is what it looks like on me. I think it looks perfectly cute, like a purse. 
and I love it. So, and I like also on this small medium size, these straps are thinner and more manageable than the medium because they're thick straps. The medium is like a book, like you're going to school kind of backpack. And this one is like perfection. So it's just like the other backpack. It's got the two side pockets, one here, one here, and my cell phone fits perfectly in those. It's got the front zipper pocket, which I just have my keys in and some chapsticks, which I'm not gonna get those out. And then the main backpack has two zips, it's very smooth. And this one actually doesn't have the it has um, actual cloth lining. So you can see in there, it has the cloth lining. It doesn't have the, the like faux, um, what was that? The faux leather lining that I had in my other one, which I don't know. I'm trying to think how I feel about this. I, I do like the cloth lining because it makes the bag more squishy and it kind of makes it more feel like a purse. Whereas the other one definitely felt more like utilitarian and like backpacky so I don't mind it but the other one was wipeable so that's kind of a trade-off so that's what I have in there it's got the two pockets I probably won't go over everything but it does for reference this is a one liter bottle and it fits in there no problems um, two pockets one like padded back pocket one padded back pocket and then one pocket in front of that. So, you guys, yes. I just, I'm gonna feel like such a cool, Blippi, oh, she's watching Blippi. Oh, Blippi. Okay, <laughs> so, uh, yes. Oh my gosh, the glisten, guys. I feel like such, like, I'm gonna feel so cool wearing this bag and I'm wearing it. I'm gonna wear this bag everywhere. I plan on taking it to the gym. I plan on just, this bag is sturdy. So I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna take this bag. I would not take my Louis Vuitton to the gym. That's insane. But I'm definitely gonna be taking this bag. It's a backpack. It's meant to be used as such. So if you have any questions, there's the bottom. Sides, sides, the back. And this is just a quick video. I might do another one on it, but I just just got it, so I had to just show it off. So, if you have any questions, of course, leave a comment down below. And until next time, bye YouTube. Oh, and if you like these kind of videos, like and subscribe, because I do handbag videos and all that. So I usually don't ever say that, because I always forget, but apparently you're supposed to do that <laughs> to make your channel grow or whatever. But yeah, if you like these videos, like and subscribe. And until next time, bye YouTube.